guys and welcome back to another video on the Blender Builder channel. Today's video, we're going to be going over how to make VFX in Blender. And you can use this VFX for all different kinds of things. You can use it for like a render or something. You can use it for games. But it's a very simple process, so let's get straight into it. Alright, so the first thing I want to do is I'm going to change this right here into a UV sphere. Go to tab, edit mode, select all, and then right click and subdivide. And subdividing just makes it a little more detailed. So select all and go over here to the vertex groups and now make a new vertex group and assign. So what this does is now all of these vertices are inside of this group right here. So next, go to modifiers and add a modifier and press vertex weight edit. So pick your vertex group right here, press group and then fall off, change this to custom curve and then reverse this right here and then influence and now add a new mass texture and go right here to change the properties make it clouds and change this to global so now what you need to do is add a mass modifier and pick your vertex group and then up the threshold and as you can see what this does is it makes some of the vertices go away so this right here this could be the look you're going for, but this isn't exactly the VFX that I'm trying to make here. So, select this again, and now add the smooth modifier. And what this will do is simply put, I'll make it smoother. So now we're going to add another modifier, the simple deform modifier. And what this does enter is it rotates it. So this is optional, but I do recommend it because a lot of times it makes it look much better than whatever you're trying to make. Let's see, angle, put that to 360. And now it has like a spiral look to it. So you can change the axis, Y axis, the Z axis, and this just changes the angle of rotation. So as you can see here, this looks pretty cool. But this isn't our final product. All you have to do now really is just add some more detail and add some color. What we do is I like to add another sphere. So add mesh UV sphere and make it a little bit smaller so you can see this above it. And you can just smooth this. And you can also mess around with the threshold over here, make it harder to see, make it more visible. And you can also duplicate, so you can add some more detail. Uh, it looks a little iffy. All right, so I'm just changing this one up here. I can rotate it a little bit. Stay in front of you, You know what, scrap that. You can eat that we'll out of the stick to this. So now we can add some color. I'm just messing around with this a little bit. So now we can add some color. So now we'll add some color, so I'll go over here. Materials tab. If you don't know how to add color, check the video up here. In the top right corner but what i'm gonna do right here just change the color um you can do we'll do blue i like blue so blue, blue and then make it a mission that makes it bright make a blue here as well also if you want to make your colors look much better you can go over here to the renders properties and add bloom that makes it pop more um, add this color right here yeah. And I always like to make the outside color much more visible since that's the main focus. So I can make it a little darker maybe. Uh, and also make it brighter. And you just need a little bit of contrast between the two so you can tell. All right, there we go, this should be good. So you can add another one. Huh? Yes, sir. So I made a couple of adjustments, but really, the only difference between these right here and all this stuff is that I just used the cylinder and I just changed the shape a little bit. So if you want to make your own things using VFX, all you gotta do is experiment a little bit. And that's really all. Make sure to subscribe, like, and comment down below any other video suggestions that you guys have for me. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Without that being said, I'll see you guys next video. Thank you very much.